called Black Death, buffaloes can be extremely deadly. Also, they are the favorite target of predators to hunt. Lions are obsessed about buffalo because they carry huge amount of meat in their bodies and can run up to only 57 kilometers. It is easier for predators to catch a buffalo in comparison to other prey. But buffaloes have really muscular and powerful body. With their long and sharp horns, they can throw predators to air and give huge damage. If they attack at the right moment, they can even hunt lions. Buffaloes can also be in a pack and attack predators in groups, especially while one of the group members is under a predator attack. They usually cause predators to give up. Are small animals that dig holes, which is called barrow. They are really smart and sturdy. They use this hole in order to hide themselves from predators. It is known that warthogs are one of the most rebel animals on the Africa continent. Usually they stay alive with their escaping skills but they are not afraid of fighting with predators too. Especially if their babies are in danger, they can attack potential dangers without even thinking. Although they are not aggressive animals, warthogs can really injure predators with their sharp horns. They can even hunt them. They can hit with their horns for several times until predators leave them alone. This is their only chance to survive. Their average lifespan is around 18 years in the wild savanna. Even though it is really hard to hunt a fully grown zebra, predators like zebras because of their big body sizes. However, predators know that zebras can get very dangerous too. Zebras can bite with their strong jaws, but they usually use their first defense strategy, a strong kick. They have stronger kicks than horses and they are able to hunt a lion with a single kick. This swift kick to the head breaks the lion's jaw, which causes cat to die in starvation. There are many cases that zebras hunt in lions. That's why predators usually focus on baby zebras. It is easier to hunt little and weaker zebras, especially if the baby zebra is not in its pack. 50 miles per hour running speed. They are the first choice of predators to attack. Wild beast has one defense strategy and it is herding. They tend to stay in their pack and stay away from predators. However, when they are separated from the herd, there is a low chance for them to stay alive in the wild savanna. This was Talk Creatures. Subscribe in order to see my videos regularly. Do not hesitate to share your ideas in the comments below. A big peaceful animal in the jungle. Elephant. Usually predators don't choose to hunt an elephant because they have huge body sizes. It is so easy to take down a helpless baby elephant. While lions are trying to hunt a vulnerable baby elephant, its mom would feel harassed and get unstoppable. Also, elephants are really smart. They have three times as many nerves as humans. Are the gifts of natural selection. They are the longest mammals in the whole animal world. It is really dangerous for predators to try to take down a huge giraffe. Of course, it is more likely to run from a lion attack than fighting back. But they have several defense mechanisms too. A strong kick with their long legs can break several bones of a lion, especially the bones in their back and head. Lions can take down a zebra only if they work in a pack and take part in strategy. Predators know that they cannot reach a giraffe's throat because they are so tall. They can reach up to 200 feet tall. 
That's why predators like lions or hyenas are trying to put the giraffes down the ground. Like other prey, baby giraffe is vulnerable to attacks too. If baby giraffe gets separated from its pack, predators will take this as an opportunity and hunt the baby giraffe. Baby giraffes can reach help if they stand together with their mom. However, predators will look for ways to separate the baby from its mother. The mechanism of gazelles is running high speeds in order to escape from predators. They can reach speeds up to 60 miles per hour, but predators can reach higher speeds and catch them. They can not only rely on their escaping skills. When escaping doesn't work, they must be able to fight back too. Gazelles are known with their long and sharp horn that they use in nearly every fight. They can give serious damage to predators and injure them. Gazelles are also social animals. They live in groups and care for potential dangers simultaneously. They also inform others to have enough time to escape. Not aggressive animals. If there is not any danger, when they feel threatened, they do not hesitate to attack. Sometimes predators think porcupine is an easy target, but when they meet with porcupine's sharp quills, their idea changes. Biologically, it is so hard to take over porcupine's quill from the body. It gives a big amount of pain to the predator. are known with their really aggressive and dangerous attitude. However, baby rhinos are so vulnerable to predator attacks. Like all animals, baby rhinos are not equipped with enough defense mechanism to stay alive in the wild savanna. Predators are always looking for ways to separate the baby from its pack and mother. Hippopotamus are vegetarian. They also have a really strong defense mechanism that they don't use for hunting. They use it to protect themselves or their pack from predator attacks. When they feel a danger, they open their mouth and show their huge teeth. With their strong jaws, they are able to tear apart the body of a dangerous lion. Hippopotamus live among their pack, which includes 15 to 30 members who are ready to defend every member of the pack. Also, they can reach up to 4 tons in size and their lifespan is around 50 years. 